hi it's Anne from the useless crafter today we're going to be putting together all of this madness <laughs> so it's a wild one birthday party cake topper and um i've got some fun stuff today uh it's a new cake topper so that's why you see so many different elements here but anyway before we get started if you haven't already subscribed please do and i just <laughs> i appreciate all the support that i can get all right i just realized this is totally open <laughs> so distracting okay <laughs> um all right so i feel like most of my projects these days are brand new so i've never done a wild one cake topper um for me visually i have problems <laughs> it's not my strong suit so what happens is i always pick the colors i know the colors that i want to work with i pull them out in advance and they always look good together but until i cut out all the elements i feel like i'm always at the end recutting a couple things so this time i just cut out all the colors that i want in all the different variations and let's just see what we have the other thing that I'm going to be using today, and I'm so excited, I've been using it, but I haven't really announced it, but Barely Art, my favorite glue that we are going to use today, so Barely Art glue, they came out with their own foamies. Um, I have been using these because you can kind of see this is my second set. Um, I've been using them for, I want to say six months. They are amazingly sticky so you don't need to you know add more glue or anything like that they have different sizes in both the dimensions of the foam but also in the height so i'm super excited to continue to use them but now I'll actually tell you where you can get them they will be available starting in october the other thing that i wanted to kind of mention in this cake topper is you know um I celebrated three years on YouTube recently in September. We're still in September, this month. <laughs> and um, I ordered my favorite cake topper from Naomi from Pine and Party Company. And um, I had never ordered from her before. She's somebody that I follow on Instagram. I just love her stuff. She, we were on a design team together one time. And so, you know, I followed her and this is my one of my favorite cake toppers of all of Instagram. Um, and let me see, I know I've got so much stuff here. Let me try to give you a blank canvas. Give me just one second, just so that you can concentrate on this little beauty right here. Um, one of the things that I am really striving for after ordering this cake topper is the cleanliness of her cake topper. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. It's just lots of layers but not so much in like a bazillion offsets. She does a lot of layers of the same thing. So unless you kind of oh, look at it from an angle, you can't tell that this leaf, for instance, has four layers. It's really one visible layer. So I kind of like that style. It's a little bit different. Um, I like that. And the other thing that I really like <clears throat> is... Um, I mean, I just, I really like the cleanliness of, of, of the whole feel. It's got so much going on, but it's clean and simple. And I just, I, I love everything about this, which is why I ordered it. And um, I'll continue to follow her and, I don't know, strive to, to do cake toppers like hers. So anyway, on this one, I definitely had this on my desk the entire time that I was designing the Wild One theme. So, um... Oops, hold on. All right, so let me move everything. I'm gonna continue to keep this on the side just for inspiration and let's get started. So I don't know what I'm doing here yet. Like, I, I mean, I know that I welded the entire piece together, so it will have to follow this outline, but I don't know the colors that I'm choosing exactly yet and how I'm gonna layer it. Like which ones will have a lot of layers, which one will, will pop out and whatever else. Um, but I absolutely like when you look at this board, I love all the colors that I see. So that's not, you know, that's not the issue. It's just once it's cut out, I'm just not that person. Like I can't, there are some crafters that design it to the T. 100% what you see in design space is what you're going to see when, when they're done putting it together. And I've just, I've just never been like that. So, <laughs> all right, let's look at this one. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. So let's just glue down what we know can be glued down and what we, uh, 
what we don't know, then we'll, we'll get to, but all right, I'm going to take out, um, my little glue thing. I'm going to do the dot of the eye right now. And just a little bit, I know I'm going to, before I lose this other piece. So I had two of them, but now I'm down to one, of course. So let me put that down before I lose it. And I love this gold paper. It's so pretty. Um, I turned off the lights. Usually I have one more light going right here. I turned it off because it was reflecting off of the gold. It's so reflective. You can, it's almost like a mirror. So I absolutely love it. Uh, the other, so the glue that I'm using right now is barely art, like I was saying. Um, I like it because of the precision tip. You get out just exactly what you need. The, you know, the word wild is super thin right now. So, and I don't want it to get all over because it's going to look messy. Um, so I like it for that, but I also like it because um, it dries quickly, but not too fast that you can't make any adjustments. And it does dry clear. So it's, it's nice. It's perfect. It doesn't, um, and it doesn't, uh, ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? Warp. <laughs> Like it's on the tip of my tongue. So I, um, like I said with at the beginning, I do feel like I am, this is my style, but I also really try to keep in mind of Naomi's cake topper. And I just, it's, it's a look that I really, really like. So, um, and obviously they're two different themes. So it's not even about, you know, like, copying that whole like the exact theme but I just really like the way she puts everything together now I will be doing the design space tutorial and usually that's you know that's another reason why I do this design space tutorial afterwards I record the putting together one first because and sorry I'm getting the I'm getting the needle out because I didn't close up this glue in, <laughs> earlier when I used it so it kind of clogged um what I was saying is I do do the design space tutorial afterwards because I do always make changes to it. So I, um, for the most part, I do do the, the tutorial afterwards. All right. So with barely art glue, it does come with this pin. It's stainless steel. Uh, and you know, the, it's so thin right here and I always forget, like I start working on things and I don't use the little stopper that goes with it. So if you use the stopper, then you don't need to do what I'm doing, which is basically unclogging the tip. It's not a big deal, but I feel like I always do this. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's see. Um, all right, this font for the one, you're not gonna believe it. So it's actually, um, I found it in Design Space. I don't know what the font is called. It's under the monogram maker, if you can believe it. I had found it from a different project when I was doing a monogram, and I absolutely love it because it's got that little detail of the line being cut out, and so it just looks, I don't know, I, I really love it. Okay. And I feel like this font is, um, it's for all ages, which is not always the case. Um, I did it for my daughter's friend who is nine and it was so cute on her little tote bag. But I also feel like with this font, you could do it for, you know, someone my age, <laughs> like a, not for a bachelorette weekend cause I'm too old for that. But, um, you know, for, for gifts or for, I mean, it's just got a wide range. So let me pick this up. I love it. <laughs> so we are definitely going to stack this. So I cut it a couple times. I cut out the one twice just, just in case, but I don't think I'm going to make it pop out because the reason is, um, or maybe we can pop out the one, but leave the wild in the background. The wild is so thin. It's going to be hard to stack it, but I think the one can be stacked. So let's do that. Cause I think it does look really, really cute. So we can put foam tape. I've got the really thin lines, so we can use this. And 
I use scissors. Here we go. I know I just this foam tape. I cannot wait for you guys to try it. So I'm going to bend it, curve it around the, the O. And that worked. Okay. This, oh, super thick. And I'm going to press it down. Oh my gosh. I love it. In person, oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's just got that extra depth in between the wild and the one you can really see it. Um, all right, let's get this little O in there. The little one's going to be harder to do, but that's okay. We'll flip it over. And I'm just going to press it down. So when it comes to cake toppers in general, whether I'm trying to do it the way Naomi does it or my own style from before, is I, I do always like my layers. So um, I do like having the same thing layered multiple times. Um, I just think it gives it that extra detail that you um, that makes it extra. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the difference between the O. It's I know it's hard to, to tell from here on camera, but I absolutely love it. All right, so the end should be a lot easier to do. I can do just the two sides. Whoa. You can tell just from the initial stick, it's super, super sticky. I cannot wait. For them to and to actually have the product ready I've been using it sparingly because I was worried that one like I was only using it when I really really needed to um, but I was worried it would run out and I was worried that maybe they would decide not to sell it um, and so I was kind of just really <laughs> really being stingy about it oh my god it's so Good. Okay, <laughs> let's get the E on and then we're going to stack the background a little bit. I'm not going to stack it um, so much um, in terms of height because this is already so high because look how thick that is. I think this is a whole quarter of an inch. Yeah. And usually it's one eighth. So I'm going to put it here. And see, as soon as you put it down, it's like it doesn't even want to give up at all. So I do that and maybe I'll do it right here. Oh my gosh it's so stinking cute <laughs> I know you've heard me say it all right um let's just do regular like on this one we can just use um I'm just gonna use flat ones and in fact I'm actually going to use some Dollar Tree ones I'm gonna use this one and I'm also gonna use where is the the thicker ones so that I don't have to layer this so much um oh here it is these from the Dollar Tree. I just want to support it in places so it's not going to um, So it's not going to be uneven. Okay, 
and then I'll do it on this one. Whole thing came with that one. <laughs> All right, let's see. And you see, I'm like pressing down because I really want to make sure with adhesive, it's all about the pressure that you put down so that it's it latches on to something. And uh, so I just want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So let's peel this off. Now these are from the Dollar Tree. And, you know, a lot of times when I peel it, when I start to peel off the top part, the whole, the whole piece of foam will come off. So I'm always a little bit worried. I'm always testing to see, like, is this batch stickier than the other batch? So that tells me whether or not I should put, you know, more glue on or something like that. Because I do hate that. It's an extra step that we shouldn't have to do. <laughs> All right, so this one's ready to go. I'm going to put this one on top. Absolutely love this little guy. This is so stinking cute. All right, let me put this on for my glue and then we'll work on the other pieces. Um, so when we're actually doing this, and you'll see in design space, there aren't that many elements on this thing. Uh, one of the things that I did is I used sticker paper for this. So all the animals, because it's just so much in detail, there's no way I would have been able to do that in cardstock. Well, I wouldn't want to do it in cardstock, I should say. I mean, I guess you you could do it in cardstock. But um, so using the sticker paper, um, it, I mean, this is a gorgeous little print too. This is from Creative Fabrica. I will link it in the, um, in the description. And it, oh, this is already, <laughs> uh, I'm going to put on this layer and we're just going to love this thing. So this is what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> I know, I don't want to say it. Okay, here's the thing. You know, print and cut is so crazy these days. I, I just don't even know what's going on with it. So if you look, I did an offset, right? But look how off the offset is at this point. It's like if I line it up so that my giraffe fits, look how far off my, um, is that a lion? Yeah, the lion. The lion and the sloth, look at how off they are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut and separate these pieces out so that I can line them, line them up knowing that I can stick like something like this in between to hide that I actually cut this up, okay? So sometimes you gotta just improvise and so that's what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna cut up and separate this here. Okay, so this is its own little piece. And I'm just going to zoom in at this point so that you can really see my board and what I'm working on. Okay, so here is this one. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off this elephant right here. I'm not really sure. All right, maybe I'll do something like... Okay. I'm trying to make it so that, you know, the leaf is also like so that it looks like it can stand alone. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that with this one. I'm gonna try, but we'll see. Okay, so I've got all my pieces. I'm gonna now just um, actually stick them on. So we'll peel this off. But look at, this. do you see how like, there I am. <laughs> it's such a good reflective paper oh my gosh so it's gold foil I absolutely love it all right let's see if I can peel up the stickers um so all the elements I just cut out like I said a ton of copies um of each one in different colors and that way I have the options as we're putting it together 
we're definitely not going to use all these pieces. I don't know what I'm going to do with the extras. <laughs> but, um, you know, sometimes when you're cutting it, it's so much easier to cut that extra piece than to go back afterwards to cut it again. All right, sorry, my, I have no nails. So I'm going to put this little panda on. There, so he looks good. It's so stinking cute. I know, this is um, such a cute theme too. Okay, so I'm gonna put this little guy on. Gosh, so cute. it's almost like it needed that like it has its own little um, offset in between the two I honestly I have no idea how that happened um, we'll try to recreate everything in design space so stinking cute so this definitely has another one so that we can do the offset so let's or the um the layers so let's definitely do that i know i'm putting a lot on i just want to make sure that it's nice and stable i don't think let me cut that in half it down let's get this off um the other thing is so I'm not going to put the straw in the middle of the cake topper I saw something on Instagram which I thought was genius and now and I want to give credit to the person but I honestly do not remember where how who I saw it from but basically what she did was on the back of the cake topper, she made like a little insert, an upside down insert. Cause usually, you know, we insert from top to bottom and it sits there. So she made an upside down insert. So the straw goes in there and sits on. And then when you're done, you just pick this up. So we're gonna attempt to do that, okay? <laughs> um, so something that I saw, have never done it yet but uh, we're gonna try to do that. So this cake topper is just like new all the way around and we're just gonna see. All right, so here we go. So here's our little, these little guys are so cute. So it's gonna, so on the actual background of the cake topper, you can see this goes right here. There's no, we have to put it there because that's, you could see, you can tell that those are the five pieces right there the five little guys so we can put this down now or actually not yet because I think these leaves we're gonna have them go behind so this leaf right here well we need to stack these as well um so it actually does not matter what color goes back here because the whole thing is covered in leaves and everything so you're actually not gonna see this uh, welded background. So right now, let's just, um, I'm actually going to put, yeah, it doesn't really matter at all. So this one is thickest, so I'm going to put it in the back. Okay. So um, let's just layer this stuff. Let's add our little pieces. I know I'm adding so much more than I'm used to because I'm really giving it a shot 
with the way that I think Naomi does it. She makes sure I, um, you know, that this whole thing is balanced. So I'm gonna get the smaller squares. Here we go. To fit up here to make sure that it's completely balanced. I'm giving it a shot. I'm giving it my best shot at this. And I hope she's proud. <laughs> All right, I feel like that's very balanced. Let's press this down and we'll, we're just gonna layer everything. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> it's gonna take forever, but it's gonna be so good. All right, let's move this over. Um, the other thing that I really, the, the look that I like is, I like, for instance, in this case, we went with blues and greens and more of the pastel like on the lighter end there are this green is very bright um, for just a pop of color but um, I like once you've decided on the colors to then within each color um, play with the different shades so like for the green we've got multiple shades of green um, and so that was definitely intentional But also, you know, it's difficult <laughs> having this many colors in your art room, right? Um, so when the when Joann's has the 10 sheets for $2 sale, I think that's a great opportunity to go and get like um, some colors and all the different shades in that color. That way you're not stuck with using the same shade of green for everything. Okay. And I put this on. And I'm just making good contact with everything. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Here's the banner. All right, we're gonna put one more layer and then we'll be done with the background. Oh my gosh, this, this batch is super sticky. <laughs> I think I've got it all, so let's start peeling these off. Oh, did you see that? I almost lifted off the whole foam thing. Look, again, just trying to peel it off. So, this is not barely art, this is from the Dollar Tree. And the other thing is, I think this will post in time. Let's see, today is Thursday. Yeah, I think this will post in time uh, for you guys to enter my sticker contest. So it's on Instagram, um, the useless crafter on Instagram. And it's super, it's a super fun way to enter a contest. It doesn't require any work. I just want you to come up with something funny, make me laugh, a sticker that you think would work. And um, basically I'm gonna pick four people 
and you guys will get sticker paper from Needle Labels, which is this company right here. Um, if you've never used it, if you've never made stickers before, their paper makes all the difference in making like store-bought looking stickers. So um, let me see if you can get a close-up of this. But you can see, I mean, this, this looks like I bought it from somewhere, not that I made it and, you know, <laughs> just whipped it up in the art room. So, all right, let's put this on. And, oh my gosh, love it. Okay, this, uh, let's put this leaf on. So with this being blue right here, maybe we'll do this leaf. That's not the leaf, this is the leaf. Let's maybe get green. Or do I have this in pink? Oh, I do have it in pink. Let's see what that looks like. So let's lay down some of our colors just so that we have it. And then we'll see what we wanna do. Okay, love it. I love, look at this layered stacked. So stinking pretty. This one is this right here. Oh, that's going to clash with this. So let's move that out. Let's put this one down. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. So let's see, is this, yeah, this is the one. We can use this color. I like that. Okay. These two, we're not going to, these two, because they're so thin, I'm just gonna glue it flat on. This already has a lot of layers. This one will have layers, this will have layers. And then we've got this little piece right here. So I think this we will have sitting, I want this on top. So we'll glue it on top of this guy and this guy, and that will keep this really balanced and it will sit like out on the forefront so this back here is this little guy. So we can choose, let's see, let's look at our colors. We've got this and we've got this banner. The banner is gonna go like this. How does that look? I feel like we need one more pink. Um, should we do this one in pink? Do I have this one in pink? I don't. Okay, so we don't have this in pink, so this is what it is. And let's see, what do I have in pink? Maybe what we do is we'll switch this out. What are my colors for this? Um... See, this is why I can't, I can't decide in design space. Okay, so I think what I want is, let's look at all the different colors that I have. I like that one there. Maybe the blue, maybe we will keep the blue one right here. So we'll keep that blue in the background. We'll do blue on this side. So I need the other. We'll do blue on this side, because we've already got the greens, right? We'll do this green up here. Okay. I think I like that. Then what we'll do is, oh no, I was gonna do this in pink, right? Hold on. Let's see how this looks. Pink looks weird. <laughs> Let's do the blue. I 
And maybe the pink is only down here in the banner. Let's see how that looks. I like that. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna undo some of this stuff. Alright, so let's put this down. <laughs> you can do it your own way, I know. I'm just going to dab some of this here. I mean, look at these leaves. Love it, love it. Let's put this one down. Okay, then we can stack this on top. So let's put I feel like that's pretty good. All right, let's peel this off. Oh my gosh, look at that. That totally moved on me. Not in love with Dollar Tree foam. <laughs> oh my gosh, all of this is moving on me. Good Lord. So on this layer, it is making me a little bit nervous. Um, I'm gonna just grab a little bit of the foam glue, I mean the hot glue gun, foam glue, and just to put it on my foamies so that it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so let's stack maybe just two of these. So this one and this one. There's not a lot of places to put foam on this one. It's super thin right here. Oh, sorry, you can't see it either. It's super thin on the edges. So I am going to put hot glue gun and hopefully that will make it stable enough to keep it flat and parallel. Okay, here we go. I like that so it sits above this and let's just do a double layer because everything's gonna get stacked so high 
So on this one, in love with this okay this little guy we're also going to do two layers we're going to match it up to that one and i think we did we go with this one or did we go with oh no i don't remember okay let's see what that color looks like is that too light here's the rest of it yeah let's match it up i think No, that's not the one. Do we have that one? Okay, we do, okay. Let's do two of these, and then you know what will help too is after that, we'll do this one so that it sticks together, and then we'll figure it out. Okay. So let's do So many layers, so pretty. That's what makes this so fun. Okay. I'm almost wondering if we should have put this one here. Can I scoot that in there? I can't scoot it in there. Would that be better? Because then we're going to put this over here. I'm going to do that. Okay. So let's put some glue on this thing and see if we can squeeze it in there. And it's a little off, but I'm okay with that. It almost feels like a slight offset and it has the two colors and I actually, I like that look. So I'm leaving it like that. Okay, so now we'll put this little guy down. Okay, so this one is going to match. Oh, do we do? Did we decide on this one? Or did we? No, we went with the blue, right? Yeah, the two blues. Okay, so this we might use just on the banner. So on this one, let's do. I do like the idea of doing three layers if we have it. So let's see. I've got two, I've got three. Well, perfect, I've got three layers of each. This one's gonna be higher and it's gonna just stand on top. So let's layer our pieces now. And we're gonna have the animals sitting on top of this layer, these two leaves. So I do wanna make sure that we can um, make it as stable and sturdy as possible. Let me move this down so you can see it. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Get a 
Could you imagine if we didn't have the Cricut and we had to hand cut everything on top of this? On top of layering it, you would just never do it. <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay, maybe, maybe you guys still would, or some of you guys. I wouldn't. That's what I love about the Cricut is um, the cuts are, okay, not print and cut because it's not precise, but even print and cut when it is the cuts are so nice and smooth looking, very exact. Okay. Love it. Okay, let's put this one down. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at this. Ah, so lovely. <laughs> All right, let's do this side and we're just, we're almost there. Um, I might not finish the name on here and let's see. And that's gonna be okay if we don't. Cause you know how to layer letters, so. Oh my gosh, lift up. Okay, there we go. Oops, something got stuck on my piece. There we go. One more layer. So you can see I cut a lot of extras. <laughs> a lot of extras. this down okay so let's see where this goes so this head goes like that and this goes like this. So, I wanna keep, let's see, we don't even need, oh, we could put some leaves there. But I think what I would rather do is do something like this and then put her name on there. I think that looks. And, oh, wait a minute. I forgot this little guy. Hold on. This one goes, oh, it goes on this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ew, I totally missed this part. Okay, so let's add, let's see how that looks. That can only look good, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's get this. And I think what I want to do with this is I'm just going to hold it like this and grab a um, post-it note and just dab it to get the excess off and then put it on. Same 
with this guy. Dab it and then put it on. I love it. That's the only this bright green. I think we're going to bring it in with the letters because I haven't decided what I'm doing with the letters yet. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's put some. Can we put some foam tape right here? Yeah, let's do it. So let's put it on the edge of these two pieces, just so that it's not flat on this, we'll put it on the edge. Well, before we do that, let's see, yeah, and then we'll put hot glue gun on this just to make sure that it sticks. I'm making sure that the foam glue, the foam square isn't going anywhere. And then I'll put I'll put it on top. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, this I'm going to have I'm going to have this sitting on top just a little bit. Um, just so that if we wanted to add anything in between, we can. I know we're talking about a lot of layers here. Okay, I'm gonna put those two. And maybe gosh I love it okay so let's look at the back and see if we can do that stick this you can obviously personalize to say anything all right so here's the back I do want to use this stick right here so actually look how adorable that's gonna be okay so what we want to do is we basically want to make the little piece right here this little hood that it's gonna go in and sit on top of. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna clear all this out. We're gonna figure that out. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I saw the video once and um, I don't even know, I don't even remember it completely, but let me grab some paper that we've used for this one. And let's try to match it up with something that we've already used. So I don't see anything. Will this fold very well? All right, let's try this. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but we need to fold a top.
What am I doing? I probably should watch it again before I attempt to do this. So basically, it would be something like this. Obviously not this. And then, okay, let's think about this. <laughs> We need it to fit this. Okay, so we're going to, let's trim this. And let's see if actually, I, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna see if this would work. Okay, so far I think, okay. So then I'm going to cut off another piece and cut off another piece. All right. I don't know, but we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and make a little, a little thing right here. And let's see if it's going to work. I need this to stick, so hold on. But see, it's gonna look something like this. It's gotta be slimmer. I'm gonna cut off this side. Should have done that before. <laughs> is what I'm thinking okay so now I've got this side I'm gonna do the same thing to this side like this this is so rinky dinky <laughs> but you see I'm making like a little housing unit we'll see how this goes um, all right, so I'm going to glue here. Sorry. So I'm basically making a little house for this straw. And then I'm going to stick the straw in. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. <laughs> and then afterwards I'll go look I'm gonna go to my save videos and see if I can find it and figure out who did it and how she did this little thing but now I don't know well I guess I can glue it on this thing because I can always add another layer to the back of this okay so let's trim this little guy to make it all even. Okay, not sure how I like this. All right, this is gonna go on just right here, which I don't really like, but that's okay. Oh no, it's not enough. See, it needs to go like this. Okay, took it off. That'll be the next tutorial. On this one, just stick a straw in it. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed just trying things out with me. Uh, let me know what you think, but here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.